carpentry H and I go to file new and here I will select blank tree diagram click OK before we start building the model we will make some basic settings I go to edit tree preferences calculation method we will have a cost effectiveness analysis change payoffs let's check what this is cost payoff 1 effectiveness, effectiveness payoff 2 payoff names let's see okay we will use for the first one costs and for the second one effects numeric formatting for costs we will have zero decimal places and we will use a suffix Swedish crowns so the results will look like this maybe a thousand separator so it's easier to read for effects we will have uh, one decimal place and we will have the suffix quality risk preferences regional settings I will leave this at the moment we could always go back later and make additional changes so I click OK so we start with this single branch it's a line and a node uh, this node is called a decision node we have uh, these different types of nodes we have a chance node a green circle terminal node decision node logic node marker node and label node in this model we will use the decision node we will use the marker node chance node and the terminal node the scenario for the model is the decision between the old drug or the new drug so I double click on this decision node to get two new branches and here I will write old drug and new drug so this is the decision we will uh, make should we choose treatment with the old drug for this patient group or treatment with the new drug for this patient group so here's the decision node and this is the decision between old drug or new drug here at the moment we have a chance node but we will change this to a marker node and we get this marker information term zero at stage 120 this means that the model will stop after 120 cycles stage is the same as cycle in our model we will have the cycle length of one year so this will be more than enough we will have a start age of uh, 60 years so this will be in total 180 years of simulation you can change this easily just double click on it and this window pops up and you can just change this to something else maybe five years or 10 years or whatever time horizon you want to have but um, in this model let's just keep it at 120 years so we will have a lifetime time horizon from this marker node I will add the states and we will have three states it's the, it's the state healthy disease and dead so I double click I get two states automatically to add a third state I right click on this node and choose add branch I could also use a shorthand command control A so I undo this select this node and press control A and I get the third branch I can zoom in and out by pressing down control and scroll down or up so I scroll down to get the better overview so here we have the three states and this states I will name healthy this disease and the third state dead here we have a mark of information about costs and effects associated with each state and below this box there are three dots this is where you write uh, what proportion of the cohort that will start in each state in this case we will have 100% of the cohort starting in the state healthy 0% here and 0% dead from start so I write 1 here 0 and 0 
You could of course have something different. You could have had 50% starting healthy, 50% in disease. Just make sure it adds up to one. At each state we have now a chance node and I double click here to get branches. We will leave this as a chance node. And this is now what will uh, happen or this is now what could happen if you're in the state healthy. So you could either uh, stay healthy, you could get the disease or you could die. So we need a third branch. I will use the shorthand command control A and here I write stay, stay healthy, get disease and die. These nodes I will change to terminal nodes because nothing more will happen during a cycle from this state. So I change it to terminal and this uh, box uh, shows up, edit jump state. This means where should this individual go if he follows this path. He stays healthy and next cycle he will still be in the state healthy. If he would get a disease, he would be in this state during next cycle. So with this terminal node, we will choose healthy. But in this case, we will choose the disease state. So the first cycle, a person who follows this track will go to this state for the second cycle. And those who die will go to the state dead. That's the tree structure for the state healthy. And now for the state disease, here we have a possibility of getting hospitalized. So I will start with this uh, possibility. I double click to add two branches. And here I write uh, hospitalized and not hospitalized. This is called a transitional state because we have a cycle length of one year and a hospitalization is maybe just one week of duration. So this is not a base state per se, but some of those who have the disease will pass through this transitional state hospitalized. And this transitional state will also be associated with some costs and effects. After a hospitalization, you can either stay in the state disease or die. In this model there is no chance you can go back to the state healthy. So I double click here to get two new branches and I write stay in state disease or die. And in this case they will jump back to the same state disease and here they will jump to the state dead. If you're not hospitalized, you will have the same possibilities. You either stay alive and stay in this state or die and go to the state dead. So this will be exactly the same structure as up here. And instead of building everything again, I can copy this structure and paste it here. Now this is just two branches, so it would be quite fast to uh, just do it all over again. But sometimes you have a really big bushy tree and then it's uh, quite handy to just select the subtree, copy and paste it down to the new place which will have the same structure. So I select this node and right click, select subtree. Then I will copy with the shorthand command control C. I select the final node or the target node and press control V to paste in. So this is the structure for the state disease and for the state dead we have uh, nothing happening more than staying dead so this will just be a terminal node directly. So this is the basic structure of one branch in the model. Next we will insert the variables to this tree, the risks, the cost and effects and when we're done with that for the old drug we will copy the whole branch down to the new drug and just make some small changes because most of the branch is uh, identical. 
to what will be down here.